What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about fishing lines, specifically this stuff. I don't know if you've heard about it. Brand new line from Seaguar, very, very thin, cool braided line, we'll talk about it right now. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. This channel is all about bass fishing, trends, tackle, gear, anything I'm fishing right now. And you know, right now I'm doing a lot of spinning stuff, a lot of small swim bait, a lot of finesse stuff. And for the past few months, I've been fishing Seaguar's PEX-8. It's a new braided line. Now this line has been available in Japan, but they released it, uh, Seaguar released it at the Classic this year in March to America. So it's an existing line that is now available here. So just the main thing you have to pay attention to is you have to forget all about the pound test that you're used to. You know, that's something that we all talk about. You know, what pound line are you using? You know, reading different articles, watching videos. I mean, you just go by the pound test. You have to change that thinking for this line because it is so thin. Instead, you gotta look at the diameter. You know, those little numbers on the bottom for inches or a millimeter. That's what you should really be paying attention to really for all line, not just this, because it is crazy the variance from brand to brand. Even with fluorocarbon, with braid, there's so much variance in the pound test, because there's no standard. That's just, it's like the wild west. So you could say whatever you want for what a pound test is. So you gotta look at the diameter, so going back to the line. So just to give you a quick um, idea of this, I, I talked about this in another video, but this stuff is incredibly, incredibly thin. So this is 33 pound test PEX-8, and it's got a diameter of 0 0.009 inches. So, Seaguar Smackdown, I really love this stuff. 15 pound, diameter 0 0.009, same thing. 15 pound is the same as 33 pounds. So it is very, very thin. The reasoning behind that is they use a different type of fiber. So it's called Izanus. And I'm gonna pull this line out and we'll look at it, but it, it's a Izonis fiber. So when they put that together and weave it to make the braided line, it is a very strong fiber that is, I think it's something like six times stronger than steel per um, diameter, for the same diameter. So it's very, very, very thin and very, very strong. Now, that is great, you know, so what that means is you can get more strength without sacrificing your performance. So typically I always use 10 pound braid for most everything. So I use Seaguar Smackdown, but now I'm using 21 and 24 pound tests, which are the same diameters, actually 10 Smackdown and 24 of PEX-8 are the same. So you get the same exact diameter, but you have a lot more strength as well by going up to that heavier line. So I really like the PEX-8. And I'll, I'll talk about kind of my experiences fishing it, but I'll just kind of give you a little bit more of a rundown through it. The color is unique. It's really bright pink. And then every meter, there's a little bit of green in it, a little lime green. So the purpose of this is so you can count down, you know, you're casting out there and you're getting maybe a, a fishing a swim bait suspended and you're casting out and reeling it in. You can actually count down how much it how deep it's going. I mean, obviously with forward facing sonar, you could see that pretty easily, but that's the idea. But what I've also found with that little green section is it just kind of breaks up the line and it's really easy to see because you, you see that green and you see that pink. So you, you kind of always know where your line is if you're a line watcher and you should be. It's a great way to detect those light bites. So it's a bright high visibility line, you know, paired with the fluorocarbon leader, it's great. Now, performance wise, I haven't seen any downfalls to it. I do not get wind knots for it. The one thing is if you use some of the really light stuff, like the 12 or 16, you have to really pay attention to your knots. You maybe do an extra wrap if you're doing a modified Albright. I haven't tried it with the FG, but you definitely do need to change your knot a little bit. With the thicker stuff, like the 24, again, it's the same as diameter as the 10 that I'm already using, so I don't change anything. It is the exact same diameter, but I just get that added strength. So again, very good casting line because it's so thin, but you have that added strength. Casts incredibly well, holds up well too. Like I said, I've been fishing this for a few months. This is a rod that I use quite a bit. You can see it's it's starting to lose some color, but it's still, you know, you can still see it. So it's this is, you know, fishing a bunch for the past few months, and it's still not bad at all. It's still holding up, performs well, casts well. And again, the biggest benefit is you get that added strength without sacrificing anything. So it's a really good line. 
It's a high quality line, but it lasts. Like I said, it's holding up really strong. And what I always do with line after it starts to fade a lot, I'll just reel it back onto another reel because the bottom of that spool never sees anything. So you, you know, it, it's never used and braid doesn't have any memory. So just put it onto a different reel back and forth and you could really easily double the life of a braided line. It's something I do with all my braided lines. Just makes sense. You know, if you're, if you're going to pay for it, that line at the bottom of the spool doesn't ever see the light of day. So flip it over. So yeah, that's my thoughts on fishing the PEX8. It's a really cool line from Seaguar. Good color, very strong. And it's just, it's great to have that added strength without sacrificing anything. So really do like it. It's, it's worked out well. There you go. Thanks for watching.